One can think for hours on how many firsts different generations have experienced in humanity's time on Earth. With every new discovery or experience, we are left wondering as to what else could there be to discover? What new firsts have yet to occur? Will it be in our own lifetime? However big or small, today we are going to delve into a few recent, exciting firsts and the stories behind them. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be discussing three intriguing discoveries. First Ever Documented Tectonic Activity on Exoplanet Exoplanets are extremely hard to see. Hidden by a bright light that glares from the stars they orbit, exoplanets are basically classified as anything that orbits a larger star like Earth. In a new report submitted by the University of Bern, scientists found that the night side of an exoplanet called LHS 3844b is tectonically active. This exoplanet, which orbits the red dwarf star LHS 3844, was detected by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. Though its surface is comparable to that of Mercury, it is larger than Earth and orbits its parent star in 11 hours. Tobias Meyer, an astronomer of the university, mentioned the huge variance of temperatures. We thought that such a large temperature difference could affect the flow of matter inside the planet. The temperatures being referenced to are degrees upwards of 800 degrees Celsius on the sun's side and below minus 25 Celsius on the night side. Similar to the activity seen in Hawaii and Iceland's volcanic areas, researchers witnessed the swelling of material on one side of the planet. They determined this swelling could cause activity across the hemisphere. While they believe that one side of this exoplanet has a great deal of volcanic activity, the other side of the mysterious planet seems to have none at all. This type of tectonic activity documentation, however, is a first. Until now, we have only seen volcanoes of this nature grow in areas on Earth. How many more tectonically active stars and planets could be in our atmosphere? We are excited to keep following along and find out. NASA launches plans to build spacecraft in space. It goes without saying that lifting huge sheets of heavy material into space and then assembling them to make a functional, NASA-approved build would take some time, money, and effort. Money to the tune of $142 million is the price NASA will pay to build their first ever spacecraft in orbit. Maxar Technologies of Westminster, Colorado will head up the challenge, with the task of assembling a communications antenna as well as a spacecraft beam all while in orbit. Joining their venture will be NASA's spacecraft designed for refueling satellites, Restore-L. All the materials needed to begin the build will be sent up with Maxar's Spider or Space Infrared Dextrous robot. This new attempt at in-space assembly and manufacturing will be the first of its kind. Once assembled, the robot-made antenna will perform microwave transmissions with a ground station. NASA's plan for more exploration from Mars to the Moon will be supported by this initiative, while Restore-L will utilize a host of technologies to help maintain and refuel satellites in space. This mission is currently planning to launch in the mid-2020s. Additional team support will be provided by Tethers Unlimited and the West Virginia Robotic Technology Center and NASA's Langley Research Center. Not only will this project help NASA move toward the front of the line for space exploration, but this venture of building in space will open doors for future initiatives and technology. Astronomers observe early stages of Milky Way-like galaxies in distant universe. Historically, one of the more difficult things in the world of astronomy has been to observe light in a significant way. With such a gaseous atmosphere, some light gets absorbed before it really has a chance to shine so that human eyes can see it. Now, a team in Chile has officially detected emissions from distant galaxies, and they have the unexpected findings to prove it. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array was used to observe these galaxies. 
Driven by the hope to see even faint emissions on top of the quasar, the team was surprised to witness that these galaxies are embedded in a larger, extended halo of hydrogen gas. It's not where the star formation is, and to see so much gas that far from the star-forming region means there is a large amount of neutral hydrogen around the galaxy," said Marcel Nielman, a postdoctoral fellow at UC Santa Cruz. J. Xavier Prochaska, professor of astronomy and astrophysics at UC Santa Cruz and co-author of a paper on the new findings, had more to say. These galaxies appear to be massive, dusty, and rapidly star-forming systems, with large, extended layers of gas. These observations give us terrific insight into how galaxies like our Milky Way looked 13 billion years ago. Prochaska's paper is a partnered effort with Arthur M. Wolfe, a co-author and Prochaska's advisor at USC San Diego, and has been a focus since 2003. Now, researchers have been able to utilize ALMA to find far-infrared images to help find the bright lights set apart from the quasars. ALMA's radio antenna technology enables astronomers to see light from an extreme distance. Their current focus of light is situated neatly, about 13 billion light-years away. This means some of the light the astronomers are seeing is a glimpse at an early galaxy formation. According to Prochaska's findings, galaxies are forming stars at a quick pace. The current star formation rate is greater than 100 solar masses per year for a single galaxy, and roughly 25 solar masses per year for the second. As mentioned, what is distinct about this light is the visual separation from the quasar. In this study, the separation is about 137,000 light-years for the first galaxy and 59,000 light-years for the next. This study is the first of a continued study that will take place in the future with Prochaska and the work of the late Arthur Wolfe. The venture started in 2003 will continue, and the world will carry on observing those galaxies far, far away. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's grow this community and get to solving these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.